Last time we dealt with the warehouse and the construction site, but it's no time to rest. There are still a few places left to liberate, and we've got a couple of exciting ones today. Please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of this, and let me know any ideas you have in the comments below. So, when we left off, Roman had just taken out all of the bandits at the warehouse and both the snipers at the construction site, and he did that without really getting hurt at all, so it seems that he's really coming into his own. We also had a new arrival last time, as Boris came to the door. I'm sure he'll be a valuable addition to the team. And he proves that already on day 15, as Erica and Roman both need sleep, leaving him to trade with the trader. He gets us a lot of materials, plus he even picks up some bandages. We're in a pretty good spot at the moment, and Roman wants to capitalise on it. We overhear on the radio that there may be some questionable individuals at the hotel. Time for the first mission of episode 4. So the hotel is crawling with bad guys, but this shouldn't be an issue for Roman. By digging through the rubble on the left side, we can see what we're working with. He realises that he'll be able to sneak up to the top and take out the guy guarding the entrance with a quick backstab. He can then hide as the second one runs up to see what happened, and take him out relatively easily. The final guy is unaware of his loneliness now, so we have to lure him out with some banging. Eventually he comes out and we take him down easily, before freeing the hostage that was being kept at the top of the hotel. Now to grab their resources and head home. We're now sitting pretty, with a lot of resources and three very content survivors. Helping people in this world is very, very rewarding. During the day, we let Roman rest up, and we have a visitor at the door. The person that we helped protect themselves a long time ago has come back with a broken gun for us to have, and some ammo. It's very appreciated, and then we end the day. That evening, Boris heads back to the hotel to grab up anything that Roman couldn't carry on the first day, and while he is out, he finds some bodies, which shows that, all things considered, we did do the right thing. On day 17, we finally upgrade our workbench, and we also fix the shotgun which was given to us the previous day. Hopefully, this new workbench will put us in good stead to alarm our shelter in the future, but for now, it's time for another mission. We've heard some strange things going on at the church, so we've decided that that's our next port of call. Not entirely sure what to expect, Roman heads out with the long-ranged assault rifle, his knife and armour, and a couple of tools to get around if needed. Hopefully, it should be a simple mission, with the main target, saving the priest. Unfortunately, when we arrive, at the front of the church is a bandit, and we stealthily approach, and we hear him mentioning how he took out the priest. Well, seems like it's backstab time. The rest of his gang appears to be in the back part of the settlement, the vestry, and it seems they are watching the courtyard between the two. Thankfully, Roman brought a hacksaw and a shovel, which means he can work through the tunnel underneath and arrive in the basement. In the basement, there are two people asleep. Given what they did to the church, it's clear that they're not very nice people. So Roman tries to take them out quietly. Unfortunately, they aren't quite asleep and the alarm is raised. So Roman starts a gunfight. He manages to take out one of the guys who was originally in the basement, but the other one makes a run for it. In chasing him, he runs into a third bandit, taking him out really easily. He goes and takes out the original runaway, and finally sees a final bandit making a run for the main building of the church. A few good shots with the long-ranged assault rifle, and he is down. Roman grabs what he can and heads back to the settlement, but he did get quite injured from a few shots here and there. If you enjoyed today, please like and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next.